In Path of Exile, evasion rating is a stat which increases the chances of one evading incoming non-spell damage. On today's episode of PoE Math, we'll be taking a look at how the chance to evade is calculated and just how effective evasion rating can be. As a quick note, evasion is calculated separately from dodge chance, which we will be going over in a separate episode. Let's take a look at the formula now. When the game decides whether an incoming attack will be evaded or not, it uses two variables chance to evade, which is calculated using a formula, and entropy, which is randomly assigned a value. We'll look at the former variable first. The chance to evade variable is calculated whenever one target is attacked by another target using the following equation. The attacker's accuracy divided by the attacker's accuracy plus the defender's evasion rating divided by 4 to the power of 0 0.8. As a side note, this is the value which will be doubled if one takes a keystone passive on Dark's Guile and is dealt damage from a projectile attack. Let's look at an example. If an attacker has 100 accuracy and the defender has 50 evasion, the defender's chance to evade will be equal to about 93%. The average monster accuracy ranges from 18 at monster level 1 to 584 at monster level 79. Keep in mind, one's chance to evade will never be less than 5% or greater than 95%, with only two exceptions the Resolute Technique passive, and the Ezomite Peak unique item. Now let's take a look at how this variable is used with Entropy to calculate whether one will take damage or not. When a target in an area has been attacked for the first time, or if the target has not been attacked within 6 or more seconds, the Entropy variable will be assigned a random value between 0 and 99, which is hidden to the player. Each attack will increase the Entropy value by 1, minus the chance to evade, times 100. The new value of the Entropy variable is what decides whether the attack is evaded or not. If Entropy is less than 100, the attack is evaded, but the increase to the Entropy value remains. If Entropy is greater than or equal to 100, the attack deals damage and the Entropy value is reduced by 100. For example, our previous value of 93% chance to evade will increase the Entropy value by 7 with each attack. Critical strikes also work a bit differently with evasion. If the incoming attack is a critical strike, the game will first decide if the attack is evaded using the same formula as any other attack. If the attack is evaded, no further calculations are done. If the attack is not evaded, then the game will roll a random number between 0 and 100. If this number is greater than one's chance to evade, the damage will be critical and multiplied by the critical strike multiplier. If the number is less than or equal to one's chance to evade, the damage will still be dealt but will not be critical. Overall, the initial value of entropy between 0 and 99 and the random value between 0 and 100 on critical strikes are the only random elements in evasion. Also, once the entropy value is calculated, the chance to evade variable determines how many attacks are necessary before damage occurs. One should keep these facts in mind when deciding how valuable evasion rating is to them. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you'd like to be informed whenever I release new videos. Click the annotation on the screen if you'd like to see the previous PoE Math episode. You can also like PoE Math on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and watch me livestream on Twitch. Thanks for watching this episode of PoE Math.